I'm Rich Bowen, and this is the voice of Apache. In this final video from Bratislava, I'm speaking with Bertrand Delacreta about his time on the board of directors. He has since stepped down from that role, and with a little bit of distance from the role, he reflects on the work that he did there, and why you should get involved in being part of ASF governance. Uh, so my name is Bertrand de la Creta. I started to be involved in ASF in the early 2000s. Started with the FOP project because I built a XML to RTF converter. The tagline was it was already too late to uninvent RTF, which is a terrible format, but that's what we did. And then uh, become, became a member, became a in Apache Cocoon, which was a fantastic community, and eventually, yeah, became a director in 2008, I think, the first time. And it's been a great, uh, it's been a great experience. And now I stepped down from the board um, recently at last election, also reducing my working activities. I'm getting older, so looking at gradual retirement. Why were you interested in being on the board? Both what did you get out of it, but what did the foundation get out of that? So I was, I was early on, I was interested in, in more than just one project. So I was active in Cocoon, a bit in FOP. And early on, I, I got fascinated by the power of our communities. Uh, you know, the remote collaboration, asynchronous work, all that. And then joining the board felt like a good opportunity to learn more about how the foundation works from the inside. It felt like, you know, this big, big thing uh, with these powerful people. And, oh, okay, if they want me to join, that sounds exciting. And it was. It's been really interesting to get to know how the foundation works internally, collaborate with people on the board, which are, you know, bright, opinionated people uh, who are, nice enough so that we can have discussions and, and resolve the, the differences. And I hope that the foundation got something out of it. So I've been total 14 terms. So I think it's good to have, I think it's good to have stability on the board, but it's also good to have rotation. So uh, yeah, you need both people who stay for longer and people who, uh, and changes, frequent changes. So the, so the, the, the opinions rotate, but also so that more, to expand the pool of people who expand how who understand how that works, because then it understands it expands the strength of the foundation. The more people you have who've been on these roles and can can understand it or relate to how that works. What would you say are the most interesting or significant changes in those fourteen years, either with the foundation or with the world around us? So, with the foundation, um, listening to David Nale this morning. Remem reminded me of the time when we dis when we clarified the role of the president. I think it was in where was that? Washington? I forgot. It was at one of the Apache Con where we had a face-to-face a, a, a -face meeting of the board, and we very clearly designed the president's role to be so that we could hire someone to be the president if needed. So it would be completely operational and very clearly different shade between. Volunteer work, uh, you know, we want volunteers to take care of the vision, and then the operations can be done by someone who's paid for that. Luckily, at this point, we didn't have to hire someone. We had, you know, a series of fantastic uh, volunteer presidents, uh, including David, who's now on, on that role. And yeah, this I think it was a, this was a very important decision that we made, and very, uh, yeah, with impactful, I would say. On the outside, uh, so very clearly, when I started in early 2000, open source was very much a, a volunteer, you know, hobbyist, uh, do that in the kitchen uh, in, in, at night. And now it's really professional. So many of us are doing that as part of our jobs. And that's been a big change. The foundation has had to adapt to that pretty successfully. There's always improvements possible, but I think we did adapt. And recently, the big changes are what uh, Dirk was talking about this morning, the um, yeah, liability uh, regulations for software security regulations, which I think are great in the long term to improve our industry, but represent significant changes. And that's where the foundation can play an important role 
to help our contributors and projects uh, comply without uh, having to think too much about it. What would you say to somebody that is maybe just starting to think about they might be interested in running for the board someday? Do it. <laughs> That's what I would say. It's a, the system now is a bit unfortunate because it's not the system, it's just the way people are. Um, people who are on the board tend to be reelected because they're, the risk is less. You know, someone's been on the board, they did a good job, so okay, let's stay with them. And it's, it's quite hard for new people to get in. Uh, I have nominated some people a few times and they have not been elected. And they, luckily, some of them persisted and were elected after the fourth or fifth time. So there's no shame in not being elected. Uh, I think we should probably introduce a mechanism for more rotation to give a better chance to incoming people. But it's a great experience. And it's, it's not as time consuming as you might think. If the, you know, if the board sticks to its core mission, it's not that much uh, on a regular basis. If you have a crisis, then it might be all hands on deck and that, then that's a different problem. But generally, it's, uh, it's totally bearable. And, and what would you say that core mission is? I think the core mission of the board is to, to make sure the foundation operates according to the basic principles of providing a space for our projects to flourish. And that can be done with a small set of rules. I think we, we probably need some refinement of that or clarification because now we have, the board is sometimes talking too much to projects or, or you know, looking at, at community management details, which should not be the task of the board unless there's alarms. And that, that maybe needs to be refined so that the, to reduce the burden on the projects basically to say, our pro, you know, the SF is a federation, so projects can be very independent. And then they should just be able to raise alarms if something goes wrong or uh, get support for, in terms of community management. But that can come from Comdev, not necessarily from the board. So I think the, the, the board role can be clarified to, to really keep it close to its mission of just making sure the foundation operates properly. Well, thank you, Bertrand. Thank you for your, for your insight and thank you for your many years of service. Thanks. You're very welcome.